Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakha, Chodash. Shalom, la b'chayarim, shalom yashalom. Peace be unto the elect of the nation of Israel. Kahalayim la yehal b'shem yashai b'shem rechakudash and double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone who well. Peace and salutations to all sincere achim. They're out there, of course, lifting up the names of yehal b'shem yashai in all truth and sincerity. Of course, making their bodies a living sacrifice to Yahweh wa Yahweh shai. All right. Uh, Yahweh is the true almighty powerful name of the Heavenly Father who the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh meaning he is or he exists or he to be. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten son's name in the Hebrew. Okay, this is all in the Hebrew. Which means he the deliverer, Yahweh Shai. Who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. His true, true and pure name is Yahweh Shai. Not Jesus Christ. Jesus of course uh, that is a made up name Title um, And It's not Hebrew Alright letter J isn't coming about until 16 Was it 34 Alright And of course Yahweh Shai was a Hebrew man so That sprang good Of the tribe of Judah Which he brought salvation To the nation of Israel His people Which his people are the Israelites So called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and of course, since our sea has been scattered amongst the heathen, some of our people may look like the heathen. But if their lineage go back to a so-called Negro Latino Native American, one of the son, 12 sons of Yaakov or Jacob, they are Israelites. The brother Mafa from Great Millstone Plain Tables Camp, located here in the city of Philadelphia in Great Babylon, ball the place of all confusion. Coming again with another lesson of your Kunkle Dash, which is, should be fairly quick. So it says here, Bernie Sanders announced 2020 presidential bid. Now, going on to it, I mean, if you don't know, but now, um, all of these people who are placed within office, they're delegated, okay? Um, you now, when you go into it, a delegate is a type of a person elected to the United States, all right? Uh, you got... Um, Know, various other terms you know definitions as well but basically they're they're placed into um you know office okay um you have it where you know you have it where people think that these people are actually placed into office by the people when it's not actually true all right it's the actual elite that actually placed them within office and such all right they have electoral college all right you can go into that okay your, your vote doesn't matter. And of course, going into it, you Israelites, you shouldn't even be lo voting. All right. Because the Lord said here in the book of Exodus um, 23 and 32, thou shalt not make no covenant with them nor with their gods. All right. This, of course, would be with uh, heathens and such. All right. At this time, I believe these were uh, dealing with various forms of Hamites at the time and such. All right. All right, when we, of course, uh, I believe this is, we are leaving, of course, uh, uh, Matazarium or Egypt. You just go into that history and such, and we, re we of course, received the lost statue of commandments from Malak Masha, which is uh, Moses, King Moses and such. All right, and 
some of the laws is we're not supposed to make any agreements, all right, or covenants with these heathen, all right? And when you, of course, participate within the government system into their whole voting system, which covenant in Hebrew is Ba-Rayath, ba all right? Ba-Rayath, all right? Like you have the New Testament, all right? Ba-Rayath, okay? Um... Yeah, you know, we're, we're, we're not supposed to make any agreements with them. First of all, they're not even under our law, statutes, and commandments. Second of all, they're the wicked, okay, that are ruling the new right now. The Edomites, so-called white man, okay, the so-called white race, okay, they are the Edomites, okay. They're not white, they're red, Adawam in the Hebrew, okay. And they're not going to do, of course, things according to the law, statutes, and commandments. Why is there, of course, homosexual... Marriages that are actually placed into law, okay, on the books as something that actually is of righteousness, which is not, it's wickedness. Because in the, in the scriptures it says, uh, no man shall lie with uh, mankind as with womankind, okay. And there's various other laws and such. They pr produce uh, wickedness here in Great Babylon, that abominations which they believe in is, of course, pushed out to the different nations, Hagawayam, uh, and the rest of the people are mad, and they're under the vibration of wickedness, they're serving, of course, other gods as well, okay, they don't serve Yahweh Hashem Yahashai, okay, the Lord of the Bible, the Lord of Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov, and Jacob, okay, and they, of course, serve them, they serve Satan, the spiritual demon, Shatan, all right, because when you go into the history all right, you will learn that this this um country was set up with uh, nothing but witchcraft. All right, rape, robbery, and murder. All right, of the Israelites. Okay, stolen. You know by um you know these so called um you call them pilgrims. All right, these uh so called uh colonists and such. Okay, who destroyed, of course, uh you know the uh, so called Native Americans, which is Gad. You have uh, Reuben, all right, so-called uh, Seminole Indians and such, okay? Uh, Chris Columbus going to the islands and such, um, you know, uh, killing off uh, Northern Kingdom tribes, okay? This is the, the, the history of this damn devil. So you have it here, Bernie Sanders, which he's trying again, all right? Bernie Sanders, who lost the Democratic presidential nomination to Hillary Clinton in 2016, is currently 2019, okay, uh, says he will run again in 2020. I mean, these damn devils don't give it give it a rest, all right? Which, you know, uh, is, is going to go into my scripture, which is this. This is the book of Psalms 2, chapter 2, all right? And 1, it says, Why do the heathen rage and the people, ima Im and the people imagine a vain thing? Okay? The heathen being the Gawaya. Or Goya or Goy Goyim, all right. Which in the Hebrew Ga, right? Uh, let me get it real quick. So you got the the Ma or Slak, yeah, La Ma Ragash Wa Ga Wa Yum, right? The Goa Yum right here, okay. Which he didn't mean the country dweller. They're outside, of course, of the temple of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right. You got, of course, uh, you got uh, the people are I'm, all right? Why do they imagine a vain thing, okay? Which is very, very vain and empty to think that, of course, you're going to go into office after you, of course, failed. You know, the elites are not down for, of course, um, you know, uh, Bernie Sanders, okay? And if they are, I mean, so be it, you know? But right now, of course, it's all about Donald Trump. Okay, right now we're currently in a na so-called national emergency and such, okay? I mean, where obviously you have it where the whole constitution is new and void and such, okay? And you you, you, you Israelites are not even counted as, of course, uh, people, all right? You know, so-called Negro counted, of course, is what? Three-fifths of men and such, all right? We're nothing but, uh, as, as it's uh, written, all right, um, right now, since we're still to our day in this, our captivity, we're nothing but uh, pris basically prisoners of hope, okay? 
All right, until Yahweh Shai, who the word calls Jesus Christ, deliver us. So it says here that the 77 year old Vermont senator enjoys great popularity among millennials, of, of whom progressive, of, for his progressive ideas. Yeah, it says, uh, you know, Saunders first conformed his plans as an interview aired on Vermont Public Radio on Monday. I want to want it to let people know that state of Vermont knew about this first. It says, speaking to CBS, uh, the politician revealed his launch of the unprecedented grassroots movement to lay the groundwork for transforming the economic and political life of this country. I mean, the, the, the infrastructure is shite here in the Great Babylon. It's going down. The economy is um, shite because, look, you have, of course, nothing but, of course, uh, closes, uh, stores that are closed down, right? Uh, vast unemployment and such. You have, of course, uh, most of these Edomites are strong out on, on opioids and such and can't rep repopulate due to their lack of uh, <laughs> ability, all right, to... Uh, to to to, to uh, of course um, push forth their race, okay? Because the Lord, of course, has cursed them. All right, the curses are fall upon them, okay? Which the curses we have received in Deuteronomy twenty eight chapter are now, of course, falling on them and the rest of these other heathen nations. So it's a very dang for the very dang for them to, of course, uh, to, to think they're gonna you know keep with these these stupid elections, um, and, and keep pushing forth this democracy. I mean, you got in Venezuela, they are, uh, you know, in a whole um, up war, okay, because you have it where uh, United States, they want to recognize uh, this uh, guy, Juan Guaido, as a president, an interim president. But you have, of course, a current current president, which is uh, Maduro, all right, and they want to get him out of there and, you know, place whomever, you know, this other guy in, of course, to, of course, do what they want, which, you know, this place is not but a corporation anyway, okay. They want to, of course, distract the resources, okay, and push more their their so-called democracy further in that place, which they have a so-called democracy. They have elections in there, but, you know, just going into it, America, they do nothing but rage war and death across the world through what? The beast, the NATO, and the EU, all right, which they ride upon, okay? America rides upon the scarlet of the beast. So it says he promised that, it will be a very different campaign to 2016, and I mean these 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 uh these these uh people that run for these various articles these various offices they're liars, okay? Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna try to just go into these scriptures. All right, this is gonna be the book of Ecclesiasticus 23, and this is gonna be starting at verse four, and it says here, or actually five. It says, turn away from me vain hopes, all right, empty hopes. It says, in concipuents, let me see, or concipuents, I believe that's how you pronounce it, Slakiv, but it mispronounced it, which I'm going to go into this actual term, which it means a strong sexual desire or lust, all right? Which, I mean, you have it here that in this place, you know, they like they just produce nothing but you doing as thou wilt. All right. Doing your own will. All right. Everything's OK. You can believe in whatever you want to believe. Universalism, Catholicism, you can serve whatever God you want. But if it's the most high, you how about you, man, you can't do that because it's, of course, contrary to what their agenda pushes. OK, it says in thou saw hold him up. That is desirous always to serve thee. It says, Let not the greediness of the belly nor lust of the flesh take hold of me, and give not over me thy servant un into an impudent mind. Okay, which I believe the impudent means, of course, uh, without shame and such. All right, it's not showing due respect to another person. Uh, cocky, brazen, okay, disrespectful, forward, basically wicked presumptuous okay and i mean this place it, it it produces that okay it produces you to depart from your maker all right you israelite so-called negro latin americans it produces whoredom okay it produces ad adultery it produces nothing but witches warlocks devils from uh, people with familiar spirits 
people who want nothing to do with law and order, true law and order, a moth, call a moth, all truth, okay, by Yahweh Yahweh Shai, in Yahweh Yahweh Shai, okay, it says, hear, O our Shemaiah, listen, or understand, O ye, o ye children, the discipline of the mouth, he that keepeth it shall never be taken in his lips, you know, in the lips of these damn devils, okay, because, of course, it tell you not to trust thine enemy in the scriptures, all right, um, you know, and as I said, not to, as the scriptures say, not to, of course, make any covenants with these heathen and such, all right, this is going to be the book of Leviticus 18 and 4, and it reads here that it says, I'm going to start at the top. It says, And Yahweh spake unto Mashar, Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel. It's only the, the only us is under the law. And it's only us that receive the law. So the Lord hasn't done dealt with any other nation. So the Lord ain't saving other, any, any other nation. He's only dealing with the nation of Israel, starting with the elect right now. Two thirds going to be cut off and die. All right. It says, And say unto them, I am the Lord Yahweh, your power. All right. That's possessive. Okay. The Lord. Is our power, all right? Now, of course, when you go into the Hebrew, all right, you got uh, here, you got Allah, yeah, all right, which means powers, uh, and then you got uh, Allah, yeah, uh, come, all right, which I believe come makes it masculine plural, all right, their powers, all right, Yahweh Bashim Yashai is our power, okay. Yahweh, the Most High's name. All right, just going into it. It says, After the doings of the land of Matazarium, wherein ye dwelt, shall ye not do. I mean, this here is the modern day Egypt, which you read that in the book of Revelations 11, or Revelation, Slakia 11 and 8, which I quickly will get the new, right new, which Revelation 11 8, and then I'll double back. All right. It says here, Revelation 11, 8, And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which is spiritually called Sultan in Egypt, wherein, where also, Slaki, wherein, where also our Lord was crucified. Our Lord was crossed out here, all right? They, of course, do that by crossing out his image, okay? Telling that, telling us that the Lord is a so-called white man, a leprous man, okay? You look like Cesare Borgia, all right? They put up Serapis Crippus. The angels are so-called white, okay? Uh, um, that the Israelites, they're just not but Negroes, all right, when they, when, you know, the, the, the judge, the, the true judges, okay, the saints, they're Israelites, okay, it says, and it starts with our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right, under Yahweh, all right, you know, and doing, so it says in their dead bodies, you know, are people that wander out of the land of understanding, okay, they, they're in the congregation of the dead, so they're spiritually dead, and they're all over the, uh, uh, Egypt, all right, being America, which is the place where we went to by the way of ships again, which you read that in Deuteronomy 28 and 68, okay? And this place is called Sodom in Egypt spiritually because you have nothing but some homosexuality, all right? You have, of course, you got women that is whores, promiscuous, not but makeup and witchcraft. The customs of this old place of Matazarium are upheld here, all right? There's many ways to prove that. Going back to the book of... Leviticus 18, and it says, after the doings of the land of Matazarium, or e Egypt, which they were so another dark-skinned race, but they're not, of course, uh, Israel, okay, and they had us into subjection, we're not African, that's another thing that's perpetuated, all right, and Shatan is trying to mess with my actual, uh, yeah, computer, because you see it's not stolen down, but it says, ye shall do my judgments and keep my order, mine ordinances to walk therein. I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power. Ye shall therefore keep my statues and my judgments, which if a man do, he shall chayar, live in them. I am Yahweh. It says, uh, yeah, and, and it goes into various law, sexual, I think this is dealing with sexual laws and such. All right, N not doing incest and, you know, certain things of that nature. All right, but being here in America, you know, um, they allow you to do certain things. All right, a lot of this wickedness and not punish you, not put you to death. All right, as our law has. Okay, and let me see. I got. I'm gonna go down. 
It says here, back to Psalms uh, 2 and 1, it says, Why do the heathen rage and the people imagine a vain thing? It says, The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against Yahweh and against his anointed. The Lord's anointed, all right, is the Israelites, okay? Saying, it says, Let us break their bonds asunder and cast away their cords from us. All right, he that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. The Lord shall have them in derision. All right, because the Lord is bringing down this system. All right, right before your eyes, as you can see. All right, all the prophecies are happening right here before us. All right, Great Babylon is going down. All right, derision means to mock. Ridicule coming back from the Hebrew. You have the aig. All right, Allah, a I, and a ga. All right, which means to scorn, laugh. All right. Stammer and mock. All right, the Lord is mocking you. All right, and you see it while the Lord exposing this place. All right, so I'm just gonna leave it that that quick and easy lesson. Bernie Sanders announced the 2020 election. It's foolishness. It's nothing but, of course, uh, a, a nugget. All right, chatting chat mints all day. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.